Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 7th of November. Let's look back at last week's trade, which was long dollar index. We've seen a tale of two halves, really, a rebound and recovery over the first part of the week. So trade going well. The second part of the week, we saw the payrolls coming out on Friday, and that gave us a big bearish engulfing coming after a rally into the 76.4 Fibonacci retracement level. So short term, we could see further downside. But personally, I don't necessarily think that we're going to see a protracted move lower and, and a breakout from this bullish trend. I think soon enough, we are going to see the bears back in charge. So happy to keep this trade open. And that brings us to this trade uh, for the week ahead. And that is short Nasdaq. Ultimately, you're looking at a market that has been a big underperformer of late. And therefore, we can see here the gains that we've seen on Friday and nothing like the kind of gains that we've seen, particularly in Europe. So. What I'm looking for here is a market that I think will be hit the hardest when we do see this market roll over once again or global markets in terms of attitudes. And that underperformance also gives us a nice, decent amount of upside room to move into for the near term as we try to sort our feet. Essentially, there is still a chance we see further upside over the near term in terms of that upside stop loss. One one seven fifty is the level I'm looking at. It's just above this resistance zone, which is made up of the two prior peaks here, 5th of October and then on the 25th of October. And whilst it does seem relatively far away from a risk to reward perspective, you know, it's still fine in my mind, because if you, as you've seen, when things start getting ramped up, you're looking at the potential for, you know, 600 point down day. 700 point down days so you know when things do ramp up towards the downside this is a market that gets hit hardest uh, as things stand so happy to be short the nasdaq with a stop loss at 11750 i'm not going to put a take profit at the moment we'll see exactly how it sorts itself out and maybe put one on down the line when i speak to you next week